Hey, Redeeming Grace Church family and friends, Pastor Josh here with the weekly update for Monday, February 20th of 2023. Uh, women, there is an event for you this Friday, uh, the 24th at 6.30 at Vanessa Kaiser's house. Uh, this happens about once a month called If Table. We've got a handful of ladies in our church who organized the women's retreat last fall. And then to try to keep those relationships, those friendships, that intentional time together, uh, they have scheduled these once a month, uh, what they call If Tables. Uh, and so this is an opportunity for women in our church to gather, to just enjoy some refreshments and some friendship and have a guided spiritual discussion around things that are going on, life, faith, uh, just just uh, those kinds of things. So um, would invite you to come if you would go to rgcrc.org and click on the link uh, called If Table and register. Uh, that will then make sure that they get an accurate headcount for, uh, for planning purposes. Uh, so if you would do that even today, that would be really helpful. We would love to have as many of our women to come to that as possible. Uh, I think it'll be worth your time. We try to really, really hard to not do events that are going to be a waste of your time. So I think this will be a good use of your time. There's no child care provided for this event. Uh, so if you need child care, you need some help with child care, you really would like to go. But the fact that uh, there isn't a place for your kids to go, uh, let me know. Uh, I'll be hanging out at my house with my kids and we probably could throw a few more kids into the mix. So we could probably find a way to make that happen. So if that's a barrier for you uh, going, and you would like to go, well, just let me know, and I will try to find out, find some some uh, good, safe, uh, reliable options for you, and we'll we'll just see what we can do. But would love to uh, to invest in that time together, build friendships, connections, and uh, just kind of keep a good momentum among our women, knowing each other and praying for each other, and encourage each other, and um, and, and loving God together. Uh, the second thing uh, is for students. Um, actually, I got two things I want to talk about for students. By students, I mean middle school and high school students. Uh, one of our sister churches in the Black Hills Area Baptist Association is putting on a youth retreat uh, April, whatever the weekend is of April 14th, that Friday, Saturday. Um, and we've been invited to come. In fact, all of our 25 associational churches here in the Black Hills uh, are, uh, are invited to come to this. Uh, most of the churches don't have very many teenagers, just a handful of teenagers. In fact, we of the 25 churches probably have uh, probably have the third most teenagers in our church. Um, and so uh, for one of these churches to take on doing a youth retreat and then inviting all of these other churches to send their teenagers to come be a part of this event, an event that these students would never get to do in their own churches, their churches just aren't able to do it, um, is a sweet thing. And uh, if there's interest on your side uh, of participating in some way, I will let them know and say, hey, Redeeming Grace would love to partner with you on this to love teenagers well and to create kind of this intentional space to do some instruction do some fun and something special for teenagers in our churches where and there just isn't uh, enough resources to to really do something special for teenagers so uh, if you have any interest in that or you have a teenager that would maybe consider that I think it's like 20 bucks we've invested a good amount from our associational budget that I lead um, and um, and so we want to make it really affordable so that really um, if, it, if a kid wants to go they can go um, if, if there's adults that want to go and love on students and um, then they can do that too. So if you're interested in that, let me know. Um, and then I will kind of take it from there based on your interest on whether or not we'll partner and be involved. The second thing is that uh, Brie and I have been talking for a while. I've been talking to many of you who have teenagers about doing summer camp again this year. That's always uh, has been a highlight of our ministry uh, lives over the years. I still think there's a place for uh, summer camp. It's a great thing. Um, and one of the ones that we really like is Student Life Camp at Estes Park, Colorado. They opened up a new week that works, uh, Jan no, not January, June, uh, June 19th to the 23rd. So we went ahead and registered for 15 spots. We're pretty sure we've got eight already. Uh, and so uh, if you would like to help us uh, fill those final seven spots, we'd love to take a couple more adults that would love to intentionally invest in students for a week. Uh, and then also we'd love to have uh, some more students come in. So. Um, those of you that have already kind of verbally committed to this, we're already counting you in that. Uh, if some of you are still thinking about it, or maybe this is the first you've heard of it, uh, Estes Park is beautiful. Student Life Camp, uh, I really like the, the speaker that's going to be there. It's a very intense Bible. Um, there's, a, there's morning devotions, there's church group time, there's a small group time, there's two preaching and worship sessions, and then we sprinkle in like a couple hours of fun. So it's, a, it's pretty intense. There's a lot of fun, but there's a lot of Bible, and that's what I love about it. It's just a lot of Bible and a lot of saturating in worship and uh, sort of disconnecting from a lot of the regular patterns of life to just sort of have this retreat with God, with your church family, 
with the people that are investing in you spiritually, with your own pastor, and uh, and then just sort of having this in, intense um, saturation in uh, in the beauty of God's nature and the beauty of God's word. I always talk about that with the students of going, hey, there's general revelation that says things about God. That's the created order. That's the beauty of these mountains and streams and waterfalls and all, all of this stuff. Uh, but there's also special revelation that we also can experience together. And when you put those two together, I don't know, maybe you've experienced this before, but when you're reading the Bible out in the woods, there's something about uh, the amplification that happens when general revelation and special revelation are kind of brought together. The Bible, reading the Bible in a place that's undistracted, sort of um, disconnected from technology and from the cares of the world to then be intensely put in with people that you love, um, beholding the glory of Christ, um, and in the create, create creative world <laughs> and ultimately through the word, uh, there's something about doing that intensely for five straight days that's good for everybody's soul and particularly for teenagers with all the pressures that are going on to kind of focus on what's really real uh, in life can be really um, a, a beautiful thing. So um, we we'll just encourage you to consider that. It's, uh, we're we're going to try to offset the cost of that as much as we can, but it's certainly not cheap. It'll be probably a few hundred dollars each for each person. Uh, but we'll try to find some way. I'll talk with our elders about ways we can try to m make that manageable for anyone that would like to go. And uh, Brie and I intend to go. So uh, it, it'll be good. So that's uh, that's, what, that's what's going on. I'm excited about some student ministry things potentially uh, developing because uh, that's a, a, big, a big part of my heart. And I know that our students uh, crave that, long for that, maybe need that. And uh, would love to provide that for them. This is a couple ways that we are going to try to move that direction. Um, what else did I have? I have a list over here. Um, oh, yeah. I'm going to be gone next week, Monday through Friday. I'm going to be going down to Denver. Uh, there is a preaching training workshop called Simeon Trust. Um, and uh, so I'm going to go and participate. I'm going to go with the South Canyon pastors, a couple pastors from Hot Springs as well. We're going to go down and we're going to do an intense uh, an intense preaching training like boot camp uh, for pastors uh, on the gospel of mark uh, in fact that's what i'm planning for us to do is the gospel of mark this fall after the summer series uh, so uh, i'm gonna go i'm gonna saturate i'm gonna be with other pastors and man we really work each other over we each give kind of two mini sermons so to speak and critique uh, so it's it's intense kind of pastor uh training um, and I'm going down actually a couple days early because they want me to help to be a small group leader and, uh, and, and also be trained on how to lead and develop portions of this preacher training as well, which I consider a very high honor. So I'm going to be spending actually a couple of days uh, as part of the team that's preparing to help train other preachers and then be in this intense training for a couple days themselves. So I'll be out next week, um, but uh, I'll try to be available where I can. And uh, looking forward to that opportunity uh, to just be, to strengthen my own preaching, uh, to, to get a grasp on the Gospel of Mark in anticipation of a fall series, and then also be equipped to help train other guys to be great preachers. So um, so that's what's happening next week. Um, also, I just want to say, hey, thanks for the encouragement. Uh, I shared uh, pretty candidly and openly last week uh, um, about some things that I was thinking and feeling, and I just appreciate the response. Um, it was always, it's always kind of nerve wracking to put that kind of stuff out there, to be that transparent, to be that kind of candid, to even challenge you in some of those ways. Thank you for the ways that so many of you responded with encouragement. A, a lot of you gave me uh, testimonies of ways that God is working that I just didn't know. No one told me. And so it was great to hear some of those that God is working in ways that I just didn't see. I know that, but it's good to hear that and be encouraged by that. Um, and so Thank you for that response. Um, Men's Theology Night that night had like twice as many guys, so thanks for showing up. Uh, the uh, 915 growth class had like 20 people as we were digging into Isaiah chapter 6. That so encourages me. Um, as each of us as image bearers, uh, nothing uh, is more encouraging than just simply showing up, uh, especially if it's maybe not your favorite thing, but you're showing up and enthusiastic engagement is one of the best gifts you can give to your pastor or to one another. We're made in the image of God. We're made to be present with one another and your presence, uh, grabbing lunch with me, uh, taking time to make a phone call, sending me a note, uh, and then just showing up to, to things that, uh, that I've prepared and planned uh, really does mean a lot. It really did minister to my soul. So thank you for that. Thank you for taking, giving me the benefit of the doubt when I share things candidly that can be taken different ways. And then also thank you for being responsive in ways that deeply encouraged me. And uh, let's continue to try to be present with one another 
um, not just at the things that we're planning at church, although I think that's really important to seek first the kingdom uh, and then all these things will be added unto you. But to uh, to be present with one another is really, really important. When when uh, Jesus came, um, it says he's Emmanuel, which is God with us. Um, and one of the things about eternal life is that we're going to be with God. So there's something about presence. There's something about the image of God in us that that is a deeply significant ministry to just show up, show up at the hospital, show up at the ball game, show up at the Bible study, show up um, for church. Uh, there's something about showing up that is a spiritual gift that uh, might be one of the most powerful of all. And thank you for doing that for me. Appreciate that. I try to do that for you as well. Uh, I love you. Thank you for listening to me on this a little bit longer update video. Uh, if there's anything in this video uh, that you uh, resonate with or want to be involved with, hey, uh, let me know. Uh, so that then I can plan and be responsive to um, uh, to where we need to go uh, as a church and what things we should be doing. Uh, all right. I love you. Have a great week. Bye.